Hello my friends from YouTube. Um, today I'm going to show you how to fix this error. On um, This is HP all-in-one uh, Pavilion 23. Okay, and every time I turn it on I, I got this error. Error, no boot disk has been detected or the disk has failed. Okay, so sometimes when uh, you get this error, uh, it's because um, BIOS is not uh, configured right, or the hard drive is um, is damaged, or the cables that goes from the hard drive to the motherboard is damaged. Um, sometimes also when the BIOS is corrupted or something, then uh, you get this message. Um, but uh, in this case, it's only on BIOS that is not um, configured right. So I'm gonna show you. So when you get this message, what we're gonna do is um, take the keyboard and uh, press control alt delete so we're gonna press control alt and then delete i'm gonna focus on it. delete okay there is it the, the, the. so control alt delete control alt delete and then see the computer is coming and i got the message okay so now le let's do it again, but as soon as you, s you see the HP logo, press the key, escape. There is the key, escape, okay, right here. Right here is the key, es es escape, okay, right there, okay. So we're gonna type right now, control and delete, control, alt, delete, and then, Right away, escape. Okay. See, I press escape, and <laughs> I got this this menu here. That is a start menu. And um, we're gonna um, choose the one that is a computer setup F10. So we're gonna press F10. F10 here in the keyboard. Press F10, and then we go through to BIOS. So now le, let's go and check to see if the BIOS recognizes um, the hard drive. Most of the time when BIOS recognizes the hard drive, that means it's, the hard drive is good. So let's go to storage, and then we go to device configuration, okay? You can change on the keyboard with the arrow, the four arrows that we have on the keyboard. You can go up, down, right, or left, okay? But right now we're gonna check device configuration and press enter in the keyboard see the BIOS recognize my hard drive it has SATA 500 gigabytes and also is showing the CD-ROM okay so that means um, hard drive is good okay so now, now let's let's uh, <coughs> let's uh, press escape okay and now we're gonna go to security to see if BIOS is a uh, reader security and then we got this menu so we go we're gonna go to the security boot configuration okay the last one so with the arrow keys go down down and then enter and we got this 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 page right here this option on this setup page are only for Windows 8 and other operating systems. Changing the default settings of any of the setup option on this page for operating systems that do not support secure boot might prevent the system from booting, booting successfully. Are you sure you want to continue? So yours, uh, we're gonna press F10, accept. 
because we want to do this, okay? So F10 on the keyboard. Okay, and we got this option. You see, legacy support, it say disable. So we, we will have to make sure it say enable and secure boot is enabled. We have to make sure it's disabled. So let's do this. First, we're gonna go to 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 disable secure boot with the arrows, go here. And then with the right arrow, press it and they say disable. So now we go up and, uh, and again with the right arrow, press it and then it's disabled. See? Now it's enable, disable. So now we're gonna press F10. That means the, um, the, the secure boot configuration, it was wrong. So that's why the BIOS doesn't um, detect the hard drive when you turn it on. Okay, so now let's, let's click F10 to accept. F10, and F10, okay. And now we're gonna go to file to save the change. So with the arrow, left arrow, go back, and then go where it says the last option. Save changes and exit. Go there and enter. Okay, and you got this message. Save changes and exit. Are you sure you want to? Save changes and exit, yes, press enter. Okay, and now. And now we got this page, okay, the blue page. Operating system boot mode change. A change to the operating system secure boot mode is pending. Please enter the passcode displayed below to complete the change. If you did not initiate this request, press the escape key to continue without accepting the pending change. Operating system boot mode change. Okay, and you see there is one number they say 4470. So we're gonna type this number in the keyboard, 4470. So 4470, you, you, are not, you are not supposed to see anything that is typing on the screen, just type it and then what is say next, enter, plus enter. Okay, now I press enter. You see now Windows is coming. That means um, the the BIOS, the secure boot um, configu configuration, it was it wasn't right. So that's why um, I got this error. And um, and as you see now, it's, uh, Windows is coming. And it doesn't mean this you're gonna fix all the errors. Uh, this way we did it, but um, but in this time we we fixed that error. So I hope uh, you like my video and uh, and help you to fix your problem. Please give me like, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna post more um helpful helpful videos and um happy new year. I hope the I hope the the Bears win the Super Bowl, but I think the Saints gonna win. Okay, so good luck, happy new year, and thank you for watching. See you later, alligator, and a while look at Codrailo.